What is up guys, it's Brindy Meister here and welcome to today's video. If you do enjoy the video then don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment and subscribe and hit all the links up down below to Twitch and Discord. Enjoy the video. So we've gone ahead and we completed ourselves another extended daily herb lore task. Got them two days in a row which is quite lucky considering I've been using my uh, Jack of Trades uh, on agility. Uh, so we'll claim the reward from that and that's going to be another 82k herb lore XP. That is a big chunk. Um, so we're nearly at 87 now, only 140k to go. Uh, hopefully once we've got 75 fairly soon in agility we can go back to uh, putting uh, my jack of trades back onto Herbler again. And um, that should speed me towards her overloads then. Also only a few XP away from Fletching level so I might as well get that whilst I'm here um, and I can film it. So there we go, level 76 Fletching. Don't know if I unlock anything useful, it does not appear that I unlock anything useful at level 76. But it's another level closer to 99. There we go, level 71 uh, summoning. Four more levels to go until proof. Oh, just noticed that was also the 2300 total level milestone. Awesome. Here we go. This should be level 72 um, summoning. Three more levels to go, and then uh, we've made it all the way to proof to Nass, or at least the rehab on that requirement. Um, I've definitely got enough charms for it. I might have to go uh, buy myself some more of those bag plants from Falador, which is really annoying because they're not notable, so you have to do them 20 at a time. So it takes a little while. Um, but yeah, getting closer. And we're going for our first big game hunter kill of the day. Um, the Anachronia raw thing with the dig sites active. So we're hoping for a Dragomatic. So uh, let's run on over now, see what we get. It's actually quite good at Hunter XP. I'm kind of enjoying uh, doing it on here. I really didn't do enjoy the big game hunter on my main, but it's actually not too bad on my own man. And I guess because I have to do it as well for the Matix. I suppose that's pretty cool. And no, I didn't get one the first time. But I'm getting pretty close to the 50 uh, hunter points to uh, get myself the quick traps, which would be awesome. There we go, just doing a bit of big game hunter, and we've got level 78 woodcutting. Um, I wasn't far away from the level, uh, it would take a while to get to the next level, but it's nice that you get some other XP as well while you're here. Oh, awesome, so I've got a totem piece, it's, um, yeah, it's not the Maticles after, but yeah, totem of summoning base. I'm not sure if that's one of the useful ones or not, I don't think it is one of the more useful ones. But still, it's another one that we've got. So I've got a couple of daily challenges to hand in, uh, just going to hand them in quickly. Claim rewards, don't know if I'll level up from any of it. Uh, no, I don't think I did, but I'm pretty close to 79 Hunter. I've actually been really enjoying Big Game Hunter. I didn't think I would, but yeah, it's actually pretty enjoyable. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, collect and top up my kingdom as well. Just got it back to 100% approval as well. It's only been just over a week since I last collected it, but it should be pretty good because I kept it at 100% the whole way through, whereas the time before I kind of had just abandoned it. Yeah, so I got 2.4 mil, got a few seeds. They are... Oh, I've got a Ranar seed. Ranar seed is pretty good. A uh, couple of nests. Decent amount of mahogany logs for construction, which would be awesome. And um, yeah, got some good herbs. Nothing too amazing. Got oh, 31 more prayer potions. That's what we need. Um, yeah, yes, yeah, so that's pretty good. We'll definitely take that. So I've also just put another mill into the coffers there. Uh, it's leaving me pretty dangerously low. I've only got four mil left in the coin pouch. Might have to go do some ED3 or something and build the coin pouch back up a little bit soon. Got a couple of weeks worth of, not a couple of weeks, this week's worth of penguin points to hand in. There were a couple I couldn't do this week because of uh, quest, quest requirements and stuff. Um, so if I hand them in, uh, let's get to the shop. We want uh, this one here. How many can I get? Ten. Uh, so I get five of them and then just buy a sixth one. Cool, so I can get six medium ones this week. Not as much as I got in my last lot, I don't think, but we'll put them all into Herb Law, which is a higher level, so I'm hoping for still a decent amount of XP. Uh, 61k XP, that's pretty awesome, that's put me very close to the next level. There we go, there is our Herb Law level, level 87. Um, I unlock a couple of things for it, but the most important thing is I can now boost if I use my God Banner. Get a plus 2 boost, and I believe I can now do Extreme Strength, so let's have a double check. Um, so yeah, that's just all the stuff I've just unlocked. And level 89 Extreme Strength, yep, so I can boost for them now, which is absolutely awesome. There we go, there is level 93 um divination caught me a little bit off guard that one i thought i was going to get it in a second when i went to hand in my jars i might as well hand them all in now um but two more levels and then i can do incandescent energies which is going to be awesome here we go first level of the day level 94 divination one more level and then i can do incandescence and i can leave this all in memories place for a long long time uh yeah shouldn't take too long though this core party's been going for a long long time now so uh hopefully i'll keep going for long enough to get level 95 so before I head down and go on my laptop where I'm not able to film this, I'm um, going to hand in a couple of daily challenges I did yesterday. I've got a few more to do today, but I'm going to hand these in just before I forget uh, so I don't lose one of them. So we'll hand them in. don't think I'm going to level up from anything. Nah, do I want to have leveled up prayer? No, nope, nah, I didn't get any levels up. But you know, there's my daily challenges I handed in. First level up of the day, level 95 mining. Getting a little bit closer to 99 and oh, I can do 
sated effigies now, and I can now store 120 in my old box, which is pretty awesome. Means I can uh, stay there for a little bit longer every inventory. Just got myself a metamorphic geode. Let's pop it open. Hope it's not X. Cross our fingers. Ah, uh, no, it's just a trust key. Ah, well, we can hope. So this next table here should be level 75 construction. Yep, there we go. And that, I believe, is my last uh, request for Prif. Ooh, and I can do Nomad's Elegy. Not that I've done the first one. But, most importantly, uh, the last level I need to go and do Plague's End and go unlock Prif. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in a minute. And that is going to be an absolutely massive, massive thing for me. So just about to start Plague's End. Really big quest here. Going to get me some Prif to Nass. So, um, yeah, we'll accept the quest and uh, get on our way. So I'm going to talk to him now. And there we go. That is Plague's End complete. I'm sure I was meant to have, like... Some sort of cutscene like with Priftonas open. There we go. Access to Priftonas. 201 quest points. This is an absolutely massive game changing quest for the Iron Man. Um, so I might go and get my quest point shop quickly. Um, we'll quickly use all my lamps so we get 50k agility. Did I get a level from that? Nope. Uh, 50k crafting. Did I get a level from that? Nope. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get very many because I've only just got them all to 75. Nothing from that one. Might get a dungeoneering level. Yay, we did. 81 Dungeoneering. Nice. Herblore, that's not going to get me a level, but... Oh, 50k Herblore, that is awesome. 50k Mining, again, not going to get me a level. Prayer, oh, this one is. Yep, 76 Prayer. Awesome. Enter the door to enter Pref. Enter the door to enter Pref. Oh, what, that door? Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, so we'll use my ranged one. 50k range, that can be a level? No. Summoning. Uh, not a level either. Well, I've got lots of XP, even if none of it's been levels. We'll talk to Aaron. He's going to give me a cutscene. You're just in time. See the fruits of your labours. Here we go. Nice little cutscene. Let's see what Priftonas looks like. Hopefully. Really nice. Oh my god, it's coming out of the ground. Here we go. So the first thing I need to do when I get in here is definitely activate the lodestone. Um, yep, lots of shaking going on here. And we're we going to see what it looks like when it's done. Hey, look at that. It looks good. We're looking good. Oh, there's loads of people here. This is awesome. I'm very excited to have Prift and As finally unlocked. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Right, so, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I think we can skip the rest of this cutscene now and go activate the Lodestone. That'd be awesome. Was not expecting that. Obviously, been streaming this. Um, just got to Prift and As, and uh, Wacky from the clan was there waiting at the entrance to Prift and As to greet me. That's pretty nice. And now he's made it into the video. Well done, him. <laughs> So, obviously, got over the 200 quest points from doing Prif. So, if I talk to me here, what can I do to you? Uh, rewards. Is it rewards? Um, goodbye. How do I get it? Um, reclaim. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, I've got two dice. Nice. That's awesome. Right. Um, so, that's roll one. And what's it going to be? Please be a fortunate component. I found... Is that a fortunate? Please be fortunate. Please be fortunate. Oh, that is a fortunate, right? 500k and a fortunate. We'll just mount to that. Please be a fortunate component. Yeah, there we go. And then if we open the second one. Please be a fortunate again. Please be a fortunate again. In before die. Uh, ancient robe legs and 500k. That feels like it's a fortunate. That is a fortunate. Two more fortunates. Nice. How many fortunates have I got now? Um, must be nearly 20. 15. 15's good, we'll take 15. Hey, there we go, that is Reaper task complete. 26 Reaper points, 17k Slayer XP. Just going to uh, go and grab myself another Reaper task quickly, and hopefully I'll get twins again. It's not the crest that I wanted, but we got ourselves a dormant anima core body. That's a nice useful one. I need a few of them anyway. We'll definitely take that. <laughs> so I've got a few completed daily challenges here that I stacked up. Still haven't done my archaeology or dungeoneering one from uh, quite a long time ago. Uh, probably not going to do them any points soon either. But I got free to hand in, and I don't know if I level up from this. We'll see. Nah, I didn't get any levels up, but you know, a decent chunk of XP, which is pretty nice. That's a decent chunk of tier. We got 120 tiers that time. This is going to be a big chunk of XP, hopefully, into archaeology. There we go. Ooh, 36k and 62 archaeology. Um, yeah, really should actually start training that properly soon. So that is going to conclude it for this episode. Uh, you can see me here nicely chilling at my harp. It's going to have to spend a considerable amount of time here at some point in the future. Probably not now. Just going to do a little bit for now while I'm uh, editing the video. Um, but yeah, that is going to conclude it for this video. 
Uh, I really hope you did enjoy it. It's a little bit shorter than normal, but I've been doing a lot on my main over double XP weekend and trying to get as much XP as I can on there. So obviously I couldn't get as many clips as I usually would for the Iron Man. So it's a little bit of a shorter episode. But as always, I really hope you did enjoy the episode. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified of all my future content. In the description are also links to Twitch and to my Discord. And uh, if all, as always, you can come and show in the clan chat, uh, the casual IM, if you would like to. Until next time, guys, see ya.